Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-1124. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. All samples delivered are in containment. The distance of from Earth and the conditions on the planet itself render any breach of containment of active instances of SCP-1124 unlikely. These entities have been observed to be exclusively terrestrial. A repeat of the lander incident at Air Force Base is unlikely as no more than one lander and shuttle was stationed at Alina at the time of the outbreak. Research drones have revealed that the since-missing shuttle is currently eroding on the planet's surface. Samples of SCP-1124 have been transferred to Warehouse Compound 1124-XA as per recommendation by Dr. Researcher Sanders, Dr. Herman, and Dr. Smith have been given special clearance to access the samples at their own discretion with the conditions that update logs and proof of inactivity or reactivation are immediately placed on record. Indefinite surveillance of the researchers is enacted as a precaution. With the exception to the Elena incident, no instances of SCP-1124 have been activated save for SCP-1124-C. The housing compound is located 70 kilometers underground outside of site and is equipped with a fail-safe nuclear device should emergency protocol fail. Individual instances of SCP-1124 are encased in airtight, soundproof, heatproof, one meter cubed, steel blast safes. Isolated instances of SCP-1124 are kept individually in steel stores with equipped motion and heat sensing equipment. No more than one instance of SCP-1124 is to be tested at any given time. Testing is to be done with approval from each of the three aforementioned personnel, Site Director and O5 Directorate approval. It is recommended drones instead be sent to Alina for research. Should defensive systems within the testing chambers fail, the chamber is to be immediately sealed, filled with triflic acid, and incinerated. Any researchers present inside of the testing chamber are to remain there during the termination protocol. Efforts are being taken to destroy SCP-1124-C before it matures, although with current results this seems unlikely. The progeny itself is contained in a 3 meter cubed containment unit with acid proof titanium sheeting. The container should be completely submerged and recycled with triflic acid at all times. The unit itself is to be lined monthly with extra titanium sheeting to replace dissolved or destroyed sheeting. This maintenance process should be completed within a span of 40 minutes. Description SCP-1124 are metallic objects found near research base Ilyena on The first instances of SCP-1124 were recovered from canisters underneath mountain range. Entities contained by the canisters have the appearance of cephalopods, weighing exactly 1.0268 kilograms. Instances of SCP-1124 are impervious to heat and pressure. Each is otherwise non-responsive to external stimuli save for physical contact with biological matter, which will cause instances of SCP-1124 to activate and reaction to biological matter originating from a sapient creature tends to elicit a more violent response. Though observations are performed daily through a viewing window in tank 1124C by monitoring cameras, a definite shape cannot be substantiated. The most recent appearance appears similar to a larval grub. SCP-1124C is in all instances metallic in appearance. The entity frequently gnaws and consumes the casing in its containment unit, although the amount of damage taken is acceptable due to the density and thinness of the film used to line the chamber. Further research into containment is deemed necessary as the creature has been shown to grow in minor increments when more material is consumed. A tear located in researcher's bodysuit during transfer allowed activating one instance of SCP-1124. 
Security cameras show the entity quickly gnawing itself out from the inside of its alloy casing and then launching itself into the mouth of one researcher. This method of mobility is believed to be a spring-like motion using its appendages, but this is still unconfirmed. Following containment procedures, researcher sealed himself inside Unit 1124C and activated the failsafe mechanism, effectively containing SCP-1124C. See Incident Report 1124, Personal Termination Dossier. This is X-23C, Ilyina 6555-X23, Lander. Transmitted data, playing log, now. 1331. Dr. Sanders, audio log 820, reporting successful mission. Samples are being housed. What we think are glass canisters were found beneath the mountain range. 84 south, 23 east on your grid. Estimated four minutes before we reach the rover. 1334, reached rover ahead of schedule. Everyone is present and accounted for. Estimated one hour before we reach Elena. 1425. We are in the airlock now. We've dumped our cargo. Researcher Breen reports he is delivering the recovered canisters to Dome Theta. 1440. Signing off. 335. Met with Breen and he hasn't said anything about the canisters yet. Saving the best for last, he says. Don't know how he can resist something that bizarre. Guess that's why we got him up here. 658. Meeting with Breen again. Let me turn up my transmitter here. Say something, Breen. Greetings from space. <laughs> You're a silly bitch, Breen. <laughs> oh, seven, five. He's got a few of the things that were inside the canisters laid out on the table. Breen says the canister itself wasn't glass, though. Not sure what the material was. The canisters are egg-shaped, no markings smooth. They have lids on their ends that detach and reattach, given a gentle pull. There are no adhesives, no screw tops or anything like that. They just come off and on. 0710. The things inside the eggs look like little silver squids. Their limbs are segmented. Can't make out any eyes or mouths. Green shook one around, but the limbs didn't wiggle like we expected them to. They're stiff. 0712. Breen can't begin dissection. Their outer shells are too hard. Thinking they might just be figurines or something like that. 0726. Breen has blasted these things with heat, froze them, even put them in a crusher, and they don't seem to react at all. They just sneeze off anything we throw at them. 0727. He joked that we should sneeze on them. Breen gave me the honors. 0728. Couldn't sneeze, so I just spat on one. They don't seem to be affected. Think they might just be figurines. 0728. Mother mercy, one of these appendages is actually moving. Oh boy, that scared the sh Reference Addendum 1124 Audio A for the one hour transmission. Playing log now. SCP-1124, Addendum A. Ilyina Lander returned to Air Force Base in Nevada on 20 without a shuttle. 6555-X23 was obtained by the organization after being alerted to the circumstances of its arrival by General. 6555-X23 arrived with no passengers and loaded past carrying capacity with instances of SCP-1124 in their original canisters. Attempts to contact Theta or the station have since been unsuccessful. An unmanned drone has since been deployed to, to investigate. SCP-1124 Addendum B Research Drone X-23E was able to gain access to the research bay at Ilyina. Unidentified variations of SCP-1124 were discovered 
before com loss with the drone. Reference SCP-1124, Video Transcript C. And this is SCP-1124, Video Transcript C. Classification Number 1124-1 Description Small, each exactly 1.0268 kilograms, and generally inactive. Metallic in appearance, has a distinct cone-shaped mantle and is perfectly bilaterally symmetrical, speculated to activate when exposed to biological matter. Heat signature, none. Classification number, 1124-2. Description, anatomically similar to common spiders, differs in appearance from spiders in that the body segments are fused into four tagmata and joined by four cylindrical pedicels, has one interior antenna, Ignores research drone X-23E. Heat signature, none. Classification number, 1124-5. Description, hominid appearance. Appears in multiple places in different frames. After following the drone for some time, a large flare damaged thermal sensors. Heat signature, 4 micrometers. Classification number, 1124-5. 88. Description. We can conclude the material composing the progeny of 1124 is vincible. In other frames, the material is shown to have regenerated. Heat signature, non-applicable. Classification number, 1124-89. Description. Heat signature, 8 micrometers. Classification number, 1124-7 Description Entity ignored research drone allowing for close inspection has a tail equal in length to its body. Two sets of serrated teeth, each approximately 10 centimeters in length, observed destroying walls in Theta and consuming them. The consumption seems to be aided by elongated nostrils near its interior. Heat signature 5.45 micrometers Classification number, 1124-6. Description. Heat signature, data invalidated. Classification number, 1124-24. Description. Fluctuated in appearance wildly, although this may be due to damaged thermal sensors. Subject first appears reptilian in appearance. Heat signature, 2 micrometers. Classification number, 1124-23. Description. Caused considerable damage to X-23E. Sampling actuators completely dissolved. Heat signature, data invalidated. Classification number, 1124. Description. After some observation, the subject's appearance altered to that of and gestured as if to suggest the drone do so. Researchers remotely operating the drone attempt to communicate with the entity. As a result of this verbal stimulus, the entity charges toward the drone and finally communication with X-23E ceases. No further data could be obtained. Heat signature, data invalidated. Compiler's note, addendum D. Instances of SCP-1124's progeny that express low heat signature vary slightly in appearance but share some characteristics including metallic angular features and segmented limbs. Entities with higher heat signatures appear less angular and are not segmented. Some bodily features are similar to animals that were previously housed on site, although these influences seem to be primarily reptilian. Temperatures on range from minus 208 to minus 223 degrees Celsius, and surface gravity is roughly 44.88. Life support systems at Ilyina are not functional. Gravity stabilization generators inside Ilyina are also non-functioning. The atmosphere would corrode most earth metals. These entities do not require air and are composed of currently unclassified organic material and metals. Testing is requested on Earth 
housed samples to confirm whether environmental factors affect the abilities of SCP-1124, as testing on active samples at Ilyina is limited due to aforementioned conditions at Ilyina, and the limitations of the research drones. The following paragraph was stricken from the document. Video Recording 1124C Area Researcher enters Area 1124C carrying container with one instance of SCP-1124. Loses balance. A tear is shown on closer inspection near the researcher's leg. A negligible amount of blood is spilled on the casing. The casing begins to move around and slide along the floor. Places two hands on the casing effectively stopping it from moving. A small hole appears on the casing surface. Researcher places one hand over the hole and quickly recoils in pain. A figure matching typical appearance of SCP-1124-1 emerges from the hole slightly, pausing for roughly three seconds. Remains still and continues looking at SCP-1124. SCP-1124 retreats into the hole produces emergency film from a storage closet near Unit 1124C and leans over the box to begin applying it to the casing. SCP-1124 shoots out of its casing into its mouth. It appears to panic, runs into cell 1124C and begins punching a button linking to the failsafe. Doors to Unit 1124C lock and the chamber begins filling with triflic acid and mist. Its head appears to inflate slightly, collapses. Its skull appears through cracks in the skin on the head, blood beginning to drain from cranial orifices. At this point, filming is obscured by acid all but completely filling the tank. The sound of a metallic screeching can be heard, followed by a dull thud and a sound similar to a balloon popping. All right. I think that about does it for today. Thank you all for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Pierce M. Hamlin, Muslim Wookie, Slump God, Dr. Day, John O. Porter, Captain Gorge, Fluffy, Skyke Manamune, my Archive Curator Nick, Tyver Ball, Cody Tench, Cheese Whip, and Dips McGee. Thank you all so much for your support, I really appreciate it. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash the Vulcan. Thank you. <laughs>